Oh. We are recording. And then um, also, Stacey, if you keep an eye on the chat too, that would be wonderful. Yes. <clears throat> okay, so this one is just a little bit of fun. Um, it's a dachshund seen from the side. And I've never like, I, I think I have started a picture with um, <clears throat> a number before, but do you, do you see the number, do you see the number six? Oh, right yeah. Um, I thought it might be fun, even though it's not like exactly the, like exactly the quote right way of starting a drawing. Sorry, this, um, my thing just moved. My, my camera just moved. Um, even though it's not like exactly how I would normally start every drawing with the number six, <clears throat> it might be fun to start this one. Let me put the bottom down here. Um, all right, here we go. Cursive number six, and then it's gonna turn into a little bump into the foot. Woo. So before you, we go on, try to take this a little bit slow. Um, Excuse me. Um, so Dominic, I, I think, I think Dominic's back in the house. Oh, okay. I think, got, okay. I think he's back in. Hold on, let's give it one second. <laughs> um, Dominic, if you can just like type in the chat to make sure that you can hear us again, now that you're in here. Before I keep going, all we did was draw number six. So you didn't really miss anything. Okay, nothing in the chat. Ah, uh, there he goes. He's getting, he's getting help right now and being connected. I think so. Yes. The light's a little better from this angle, too. So, Dominic, can you hear us? Oh, can yeah. Okay, Great. sweet. <clears throat> so, um, so all we did <clears throat> while you were um, gone is all I did is point out that like the the um, the shoulder blades and the elbow and the front leg look like a number six. So I just so I was like, well, let's just start with a number six. And then, yeah. <clears throat> you know, if you wanted to, you could put like a little L shape here or a backwards L for like an elbow because, you know, that's what it is. It's like the elbow of the dachshund. You could maybe add another toe down here maybe even a toenail what i'm sorry to say is that we're going to try oh. to turn, we're going to try and turn that six you know into you know like a leg um you know there's good this could be like a little heel of the foot <laughs> we don't want to go crazy with it but um it's all good um now we can go um let's go with this little since it's interesting since we started with the six like which is the arms um, we want to get into the head pretty quickly so that we can tell like what it is. Um, so there's this little front of the neck here. And then the front of the neck gives us an, what's called an S curve. Um, the front of the neck is an arch, but then the ear is this S curve. And believe it or not, the S curves are moving in the same direction. They're almost snake-like, but they give us um, basically the front of the ear and the back of the ear. We're drawing the back of the ear first because we're kind of going in reverse um, because we started down here. So we're doing the back of the ear first, then the front of the ear. Um, <clears throat> and then, you know, the dachshund's face, this is what's called stylized. It's not an exact copy of a, a dog, but it's interesting because there's a lot of things that are true um, about a dachshund and true about this drawing. So when I say true, I mean, there's the bottom of the jaw, then there's the front of the snout, and then there's the top of the snout. So those are, um, I did four sides. So I did the, 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 his jaw and ch jaw, then I did the front of the snout, and then I did the long top of the snout. So if you wanted to, you could add a little mouth in here where a little smile, you can add a little <laughs> corner of the nose, you know, you can see his little nose in that corner. So I'm adding these little details so that it moves away from just random lines and into things that you can actually, you know, say by name. Um, and again, I know I'm moving like a little bit slow, but 
because you want to just draw everything like really fast and gesturally, but you want to be careful that you're like saying what the things are. <clears throat> so the next line, we're going to do the top of the head and the back of the neck. And I know it looks like one line, but if you look carefully where the head meets the neck, there's an actual like a miniature overlap right here. Oh. So I'm going to do like the, um, you know, the forehead into the top of the head. But I'm going to stop it right here because you can actually like if you feel in the back of your own head or even just like like when you pet a dog, like the dog has this bump at the back of his head and then it turns into his neck. Like you can tell where his skull ends and where the neck begins. And that is like right here. So I'm going to put that little arrow point right at that. And I may have made it head is a little long, whatever. Um, but I'm going to continue that line down until the neck meets the shoulders. And the shoulders are this little thickness right here. So this is the head, this is the neck. <clears throat> um, oh, oh my gosh, wait a second. I wonder if he did that on purpose. Okay, we're gonna look for some more colors. Cause if you look at the eyes, he did a number two. He did like a little zigzag or it could be a letter Z. It looks like I think Z, of it as a but Z. But that's how I make the number two. I actually draw Z's like this. I do, um, I do the Z and then I put a line through it. I actually make sevens like this with a line through it too. <clears throat> I don't know where I picked it up, but it seemed to make sense to me. So it's almost like clarifying a little bit more. I have like messy handwriting. Um, my handwriting is so messy. So I have to like use these little marks. <clears throat> Um, if you wanted to actually draw his real eyes, you could use a circle, you know, and you put his upper eyelid and his lower eyelid. Um, this dog doesn't have to look like the one we're making. This is just a warm up to, to, for fun. I mean, it is just for fun. Okay, what's the next thing? Um, so dachshunds, are they call them wiener dogs? Because they look like hot dogs, meaning their bodies are like long, like longer than regular dogs. They're thin and they're long. So they're not truly wieners in the sense that one side of the hot dog is the same as the other side of the hot dog. Um, so his rib cage is a little bit bigger, but his body is long and thin. So let's just see if we can go um, from his, all the way down from his neck, all the way to his spine, where you can imagine where the tail begins. So I'm gonna do this. So it's, it's basically, you know, the, the valley dips and then you go up the mountain right here. And then um, I do want to stop it because I want to make the tail a separate line. So the, um, the back is going to dip down and then it dips up and then I'm going to end it. The funny thing about this, and I'm going to do it just to prove it. My dog just ate a whole sandwich. <laughs> the Did funny, thing, the funny thing about this is that if you My make if you make it even longer, it's gonna be even funnier. So I just made the body of my dog even longer, just because the longer, I think the funnier the thing is. <clears throat> um, I know the next thing is like maybe to do the chest, but let's not do the chest yet. Let's do the, um, is that a number four? Whoa, no, I don't think it is. Okay, so I was gonna um, do his little back legs um, this is the thigh. So it goes hip to knee, knee to ankle. So um, the reason I said I thought it was a number four is because look at this front of the thigh and then it comes across and then it comes back down. See how you could, that could almost be like the number four. See if I like close that off. Uh, the number four is like this. And so the front of the four is the thigh and then it cuts under and then back down and then we'll do this other foot down here. I'm gonna add more toes. I mean, dogs have um, at least four toes. Um, and, you know, usually at least two of them are visible. So I just added another one. Um, dachshunds are pretty strong. So this little back thigh here is rounded. And now we can add the tail. I just did a spiral. Um, the four can bit rounded out a little bit because this is the knee. 
I put a little spiral at that knee. Um, usually I make an indication of where the elbow is. I usually put a triangle or something. Um, other times I'll put like a little a dot or an oval or a spiral at the knee. It just helps me clarify what the parts of the animal are. Um, and then let's do the bottom of the rib cage. Now, the crazy part about this is look at how low the rib cage is to the feet. Um, at a certain age, you know, sometimes dachshunds bellies can like come close to dragging on the ground, if not drag on the ground. So this is this, this is the round part of the rib cage comes up into the soft part of the belly, and then it's going to go right into the webbing of the uh, inner thigh. And the webbing of the inner thigh is a lot similar to like our thumb. So here we go. It's going to dip down for the rib cage, and then it's going to curl up into the thigh. Whoa. There it is. It's just a bunch of squiggly lines. Mine is like, um, it gets like, mine is like a fat dog on the bottom, but a, um, a fat dog on the front, but it's kind of, it kind of looks like a, um, poodle and one of those dogs mix. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can I see it in a second? Um, I'm yeah, gonna my dog. One of the way, one of the things that I do if um if my drawing isn't going well, I'll try to um I'll try to color it in, and sometimes that fixes it. And. You know, the like, look at the arm. Like, there's nothing saying what how thick that arm is. Like, it's just one little line. So I have to, I have to use my colors to show it. I have to make the arms long. Mine is sleeping and dreaming of a bone. Okay, so this is the part where it gets fun. Who was that? Was that Rohan or Kieran? Rohan. Rohan, okay. So that's, this is like the fun part. So the, the drawing is, um, it's nice, but wouldn't it be nice if there was a dog bone next to it? <laughs> so this is the part where you get to embellish. I like, I like, oh wait, I'll leave this here. Move this over. I'm going to erase my numbers because. It's like stink bugs. Yeah. Ooh. Somebody kill the stink bugs. I forgot to do the toes. All right, here's a dog bone. Does he need a collar? Oh, that would, that's a little too bad. Did I forget to give him a collar? Give Why his, not? Give him his dog tags. I think if I have a strong enough red, I think this the red could go on top of my brown and it'll still be okay. Here's the red collar. Whew, okay. Whew. And then I did a little, I did a little dog tag and make it golden. That's not the right color. Oh, my good yellows go. There's good yellow. Um, so if your dog turned out great, I'm happy for you. If your dog didn't turn out so good, now we could try to make him good. I'm going to make him standing on some rocks up here. Um, Trevor? Yeah? You know, I think the other thing that's really interesting and beautiful is that there are a number of places where the artist does not connect his lines. I know. Like Isn't that crazy? Six, for instance. 
and the bottom of the neck. Yeah. <laughs> and the bottom of the belly to the so bottom maybe, of the hips. So maybe that means that if you draw other things, the lines don't have to connect either. Okay, hold on. So I'm gonna, uh, Stacy makes up a really good point. So the dog, you know, is you know, kind of made of curly lines. What if I had used a dog bone that looked like this? Does that still look like a dog bone? You're gonna the there. Now it does. Does it look like the same? Maybe I can make some uh, rocks that are a little bit. What do you mean by the same? Should I use like curly Q rocks? <clears throat> Um, I like it works really well with the grass because the grass then doesn't have to be connected either. Oh no, I won't do it. I was going to put some dog food. I'll do, I can do dog food. Yeah, we'll let you do dog food for sure. So there's a dog bowl. Dog. Hot dog. Good call, Stace. Mm -hmm. Hot dog. Thank you. Thank you. Good call. Ooh, I just accidentally pulled out a accidentally pulled out a blue. And I can make blue my background. The color pencils, you'd be surprised. You actually draw clouds by you know drawing the blue sky. You know, so whatever part of the sky does not have blue on it, you can assume that they're clouds. And you don't have to go really heavy. It's just a background. You can make it quiet. I pulled that blue out thinking that it was a green, but it was not the green. One of my favorite tricks two pencils at one time. Ooh. Um, they actually, this idea, I'm not the first one to come up with this idea, but. Um, the first to perfect perhaps. No, the, well, there's the, the manufacturer. Remember those, remember those color pencils I was showing you before that have like multiple colors in there? Yes, I think, and I, I was. Think, I think that's what they're trying to do. I think they're trying to recreate having multiple pencils at once. Ooh, gross. Dog food is gross. I can't. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Forget wet, wet dog food. Uh-uh. I'm going to make it wet dog food. No, no, no. I guess it could be dry too. I don't know. <clears throat> Is everybody getting close to being finished? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I was going to draw. I've got cactus on the brain. I'm gonna draw a cactus back here just for fun. Off in the distance. Oh, I love that little dog bowl. Hot dog. Thanks. So cute. They're in Arizona. Who 
who's in Arizona? This dog. Oh. I mean, only because I put in a cactus. Oh, no. I can appreciate having a poodle and a dachshund. I don't know if I can do a rat and a dog. Should, yeah. we, should we just take a break? Should we, uh, you want to show what you got? A rat? Oh, it's kind of, that's a, that was a good warm up. That was a pretty good warm up. Oh, yeah. I think Kieran just made holes in his paper and scribbled on it. That's what he does um, when he gets mad at his drawings. Oh. It can be very emotional having and very frustrating having drawings that don't work well. But you, it's like you just got to get back and try to draw something else again. Um, does anybody want to show? Get back in that saddle. I'll show. I'll show mine. All right. Let's see it there. I'm going to pin you. Oh, Dominic. Oh, wait. Sorry. A little bit. Up. Up, 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 and freeze. Dude, and it's so nice. Yeah, so right, nice. Stop the share. Stop the share. I hadn't seen it up close. <laughs> That's the cutest dog. Yeah, it that looks so like a real. That, look, some, that like has a. It feels like a real dachshund to me. I don't know how it's different because it's a lot of the same stuff, but um, well done, um, Toby. You ready to go? I look. I got you up next. Nice, down there. Place pin. Yes. Ooh, I like the color mixtures that you've yes. got. Yes. That is one happy. That is one happy doggy. That is a happy dog. Yeah, and I um, like what I'm saying with the paws. Stacy, did you do it? I got you up next. I did. You did? I did. Stacy only did half of the gemstones in the last class. Oh, I thought you were going to say that perhaps only did half a dog. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. Oh, I like your blurring of the graphite. That's very know, nice. It wasn't even, shoulder and stuff. It's because of where I had to move. Well, I mean, you know, correcting the drawing can make the drawing more interesting. You know, it's not a, uh, that is not a problem at all. Um, does anybody else want to show? Anjali, let's see it, girl. Replace pants. Oh, Anjali, free. <laughs> That's a cool dog. Yeah. He, he likes his I bone. Practice. He likes the bone. He's a happy boy. <laughs> All right, Kieran uh, and Rohan, can we see your damaged paper? You're on mute still. Let's see the good dog and let's see the... Oh, Kieran, he thinks that he lost his... Oh. Maybe he lost. This is mine. Little to okay, your right. Okay, can you move that a little over so you we can see all of it? He's dreaming. He's dreaming of the bone. Uh, very handsome drawing. Well done. Yeah. Nice. And there was a dog in there. Yes, there was. There was a dog. All right, you can get rid of that. Hey, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I, it's like, it's how you come back on the next drawing that matters. Um, and we need to see Lillian and William. Are you guys up for showing? I would love to see it if you don't mind. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, it's a feast. Dude, that you, is um, that is that, that, that is an down. epic, that's an epic drawing. Everything about that is big, huge. Yeah. I, like, I like how you're thinking, Lillian. All right, William, let's see what you got. Oh, nice and freeze it, William. Man, that looks, my, my cousins had a dachshund. That dog looks exactly like it. It almost looks like some of the dachshunds will have like curly hair on their ears. You know what I mean? Like thicker ears. Um, and that's what that reminds me of. That's such a beautiful drawing. Very interesting. Cool. Nice. And the, uh, the dog bowl with the, uh, is nice. I like the mixture of lowercase and capital letters. You could you could sell those. Um, okay, great. Did I, for, did I lose anybody? Did I forget anybody? I think we're good, right? Yeah, uh, right. we are Sweet. good. 
Let me go back to the screen share. That was awesome. That was so much fun. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, very much. Where's my thing? Okay. Um, would you guys be up for trying to draw a um, a cartoon gorilla? Let me show it to you first. And then um, if anybody is like, no way, I don't want to draw that. I do this one. You would do it? Yeah. All right, cool. Um, let's do this thing. Um, it's it's actually really it's actually a really solid. No, the drawing. first. Let's do the one that you showed before. The scary one. Wait. Yeah. Turn back. The other monkey. This one. Yeah. Okay. So I'll make you a deal. Um, this is a whole different technique. Let's draw this one together. And then if you want, we can go back in and we can make his mouth like wide open and, you know, oh. roaring. Okay. So, yeah. So that's just like, go easy on the mouth and we'll just combine the two drawings so we can make him look like a, a raging gorilla. Um, all right, cool. Mm. Yes. So <clears throat> last drawing uh team we started with the number six and this time we're gonna start with the number seven i see yeah. it do you see it i see it you're always on top of that stuff i'm telling you, you see everything i actually see two seven i see a sideways three sideways i three. see the sideways three as well ah I see the. Are you, are you talking about this? Are you talking about his uh, chest? Is the three? No, but I see that now. Oh, are you seeing this as a sideways three? Nope, right above it. I was talking this about this as a sideways three. Yes. Wow. So there's a seven over here. There's a seven over here. Sideways three for the nose. Sideways three for the forehead. Whoa. Okay. And people. another sideways seven on the nose so where should we start should we start from the very top and work down let's do that let's see this little see this little uh triangle top of his head which is also the part of the three um oh hold on i gotta make sure all this fits on the page okay yeah we're in business oh trevor yeah can you uh make sure there's no one in the <laughs> waiting room did somebody get booted no, I was supposed to remind you of that. Oh, yeah, no, I think everybody's back. Yeah. <laughs> Let me look up again, though. Yeah, yeah, no, thanks. I appreciate that, Stace. Sure, I was a little yeah. late on that one. Okay, so here we go. So the name of the game is, um, is like basically translating marks uh, into like things that you can draw and translating them into things that you know what they are. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to start here with this little triangle at the top. I know that this is the top of his skull. This is the top of the gorilla's skull right here. And it's easy for us I to draw. I have literally because... already done the art. Okay. Well, uh, hopefully it all goes in the right order. Um, so usually I like to start with the heads of animals and then you know, head, shoulders, and then you go out from there. Um, all right, so this is the, the top of the three. And then this is the rounded bottom of the three so in one context you're seeing the number three which everybody knows how to draw right here like like the oh wait let me draw it up here boom 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 so that's the number three but in this context it's not a number three in this context it's the skull the forehead and then this what's called a brow ridge so the, the gorilla's brow ridge like hangs over. So we can actually thicken the monkey tail, <laughs> no pun intended, but the monkey tail of the three, the curved part of the three, um, we can thicken that up. And that'll make the brow thicker, look like his eyebrows and everything. And then we can put in an eye here. I think 
personally, I think we should put the eye on the other side too. But that's just because, I mean, the artist like left it out because, you know, maybe the artist didn't thought that they didn't have to use it. I don't know. But if this is a frontwards three, then we're also dealing with a backwards three, which is also the Greek letter epsilon. And I'm seeing that for the nose. So you get the nostril, which is the top part, and then you get the philtrum, which is the bottom part. So there are two different parts of the nose. Um, this is the nostril flare, the top part. And then the part that's in the middle is the part that like if he were a bull like if he were a bull he would get this like the ring of the bull would be in there it's quite wild um a lot of things that i like to do when i'm drawing um bilateral symmetry like animals that have this that are the same on the left side and the right side i actually try to build out from there so check this out this is a cheekbone over here which is the number seven there's a cheekbone on that side that's the top part of the bone. This is the actual cheek bone. And you can like feel it right here. Like if you're gonna hit with a dodgeball or something or like something smacks your face, like it's your cheekbone that protects your eye. And then there's the part that's underneath it, um, which is in between your um, chin and your jaw. And that's what this other seven is. So the second seven is the under part of the jaw. And then you go back up into here. Oh my God, that's, excuse me. I don't mean to say, oh my God. I meant, oh my goodness. But there is a, the letter, a backwards letter three for the ear too. That is freaking. Oh, wow. Yeah. You had mentioned that. And I didn't really early, you know, earlier, I didn't quite get it. Um, one of the things that separates, um, you know, gorillas or monkeys um, from like, you know, homo sapiens, you know, humans, it has to do with like the, the huge low from the nose down to the chin, the proportions are completely different. Um, and that's what this oval is down here. So I'm going to go from the, basically the bottom of this seven and the bottom of this seven, and I'm going to link up this big oval. And that's going to basically, you know, section off the face. Now, this little U shape is where the lips are touching. Um, what I suspect is going to happen is that we're going to open the mouth and this jaw is going to come down and this lip is going to come up here and he's going to turn into like this screaming uh, gorilla. But don't do any of that yet. I'm just going to erase that. I'm going to erase that. Sorry. I just wanted to foreshadow what it's going to be. Just for the time being, let's just do where the lips align for where the lips are touching. And he might not be raging, but he's not that happy. I mean, it's definitely a frown. Um, and this is where it's, I think it's appropriate to talk to about, you know, when you make your lines, um, you, know, you have to like make them some thick lines and some thin lines. The bottom of the seven over here is really thick. The top of the seven over here is really thick. The bottom of the three is thick. Um, the left side of the oval is medium. So I'm, I'm, I'm just going back into my drawing and you know, adjusting the lines. It's called drawing the lines. You know, lines you know, help you like locate where things are, um, but you can shade them. Um, to make them look good and have like a variation, like some are thick, some are thin. Um, we're about to get into this really exciting situation. Um, I'm a little nervous about how we should do it. Um, I'm not nervous anymore. Um, so I was going, part of me wanted to come down and show how the back of the head goes into the shoulders, which is trapezius and the trapezius goes into the deltoid and the deltoid into the, trap the um, triceps and then all the way down the arm we're not going to do that yet we've got to start from the middle um, so we've got his chin down here and then we're going to do his huge gorilla uh, chest which he this guy can probably bench I would say over a thousand pounds um, gorillas are some of the strongest animals and they are so much stronger than humans it's not even funny even a little orangutans 
Like orangutans mm-hmm. that are like half as tall as humans are two to three times stronger than any human. They are incredibly muscular. You can't really tell necessarily because they, you know, they're, they're covered in hair and you don't get close enough to tell how strong they are. But man, they are strong. So these are pectorals, pectorialis major. And basically this guy can bench press uh, a minivan. I mean, he can, this guy is just, his chest muscles are so strong. Um, we're going to go, and that's the middle. So we find the, the middle um, between the two pecs is the sternum. So that's like your, basically your, uh, you know, your chest plate. That's bone, part of the rib cage. And then underneath that, we're going to do his belly. Now, unfortunately, this artist kind of makes him look like he's a little chubby or whatever, but they're definitely not chubby. It's all muscle, all these abdominal muscles. And so the reason I started in the middle is because we can do the right arm and then we can do the left arm. Well, we can do the right side arm and the left side arm. Um, This guy's definitely on his knees, so we can put a little leg in his knees. He's kneeling. He doesn't have like his legs that are that short. So I'm going to start with um, the the part of the arm that's on the right side. And it sounds it sounds like I'm uh, taking the easy way out. But really what I'm doing is I'm trying to, to do the easy parts first. I find that when you do, if you, if it's like a math test that if say there's 10 questions and the first one's really hard and you spend the whole class doing the first answer, then you don't get to the other nine that you know how to do. Like you don't get credit for it. So if you know an answer, um, historically in art, I found that it's better to get the easy answer. And if you look at this right side arm, it honestly, it couldn't be easier. Um, we have the shoulder into the, which is a curve. And then that shoulder leads into the whole length of the arm, which is just one straight line. Then he's hits his knuckles. He's a knuckle dragger. So he's dragging his knuckles on the ground and his hand is just one, uh, basic triangle. So he's got this little hand over here, this big hand, we're going to draw it, but it's hard. I would much rather, you know, the a triangle for a hand is easier than all of this hand. So if we have a starting point and ending point, we can go. So we're going to start with the, with the brow ridge. We're going to start with that curve, which is a beautiful arch. Shoulder. And then we hit the whole length of the arm. So this is shoulder to elbow, halfway down. It gets a little bit thicker at the elbow and it goes elbow to wrist. And then it goes from wrist to knuckles. And then finally at the knuckles, his fingers uh, decide to um, go flat on the ground. And then they curl back up this way. You get the inside of the the, um, forearm right there. So I know it's like, in one sense, all it is is a curve, a straight vertical, and then a horizontal. I mean, it's really that simple. Um, I'm making it a little bit more complicated by saying it goes shoulder to the elbow, elbow to the wrist, wrist to the knuckles and going under. But really it's only just this curve, this straight, and then that flat part. It's only three parts, amazing. So I'm going to erase that so it doesn't look like he's moving. And the whole drawing here um, is all anchored on um, his, his arm. Like the simplicity of his, the arm that we just drew is because he's, given a, he's giving us the top of the head. Then we're going to make some marks that go down the neck. I'm going to put a line for where the neck stops. Then I'm going to do a couple other lines where you just think about yourself, like your neck leads into your shoulders. So these are the short, like the trapezius, like the shoulders that like if somebody rubs your, rubs your back, like that's where they rub. That's the trapezius. Then 
we're getting into the arm where it turns into the actual deltoid, which is your shoulder muscle. So then that goes down here and then shoulder muscle to the elbow. And I might even put a couple extra flares at the elbow. And then it's gonna go elbow down to the wrist. And then we're gonna use, go back from this hairy wrist. We're gonna go from wrist to knuckles and then one finger tip to two fingertips. With all of this complexity, the, um, the neck up here, the trapezius, which is basically between the neck and the deltoid. And then you get the shoulder, and then you get the uh, shoulder to elbow, and then elbow down to the wrist. For all the complexity of that far side, the inner part is just a vertical line. Like, how does he even get away with that? There's a thumb and a finger. Maybe I need to make my arm a little bit longer. So there's the uh, back of the hand into the knuckle and then knuckle into the fingers. I just wanna make gorilla sounds when I see this. Mine is turning out pretty well. Good, dude. Good. Great to hear. Um, just like in the other one, the fingers, remember when we did the, the, the leg of the dog? And it's like, a, it's a leg. I mean, it's got a front of the leg and the back of the leg. But then the artist didn't even do it. <laughs> like, they just did the front of the leg. And you're like, how did you get away with that? Um, it's the same with these fingers. You know, he just like puts these lines in, yeah. represent the fingers, but not necessarily the thickness of them. <clears throat> okay, uh, that feels good. Um, I'm gonna darken up my uh, hair on the gorilla on the outside. Looks like I might need to make my gorilla a little bigger. Are we done? Um, the last part I'm going to have us do is, if, hopefully you can see it, but there's like this gray shading. You can see it on the inside of his pec here. You can see it on the outside of his arm there. You see it a little bit near his eyes and then also in the background. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to ask you guys to look around a little bit um, and see where there's some nice gray, gray tones and put those in. And should we give him a belly button? <laughs> oh, Trevor. Isn't that a well-placed belly button? It is. And I would like to make a suggestion. Um, I'm going to, um, hold on. Let me just say one last thing. When it comes to colored pencils, you can't do this because they don't blend very well. But if you're just using graphite, you can put a little chunk down here and you can get your blending stump. Oh my did I lose it? Oh, it's right here. Okay, so this is just the, the tortillion, it's the blender. It's just the blender, but you wanna grab a little pigment from over here and then you can apply it just like you're, it's a paintbrush. You basically are like, you're kind of painting your gorilla uh, with graphite. And it goes to the background. I love this little, there's a little gray spot on the on the background up here. And then there's a big gray spot down his arm. A little bit on his chest, on both sides, a little bit on the inside of his arm. That's for sure. Uh-oh. Looks like Kieran and Rohan might have gotten booted. Inside of his hand. So funny. 
Yeah, I just like I just made his whole I made his whole head small. I wonder if I thought I was gonna run out of room on the paper. Do you think that's what I did? I mean, he's a gorilla. He's like nice and thick. I just wonder if I why I made him so skinny. Hmm. But graphite, you can fix it so easily. Look at that. Um, uh, Kieran, did you guys get did you guys get kicked off? What happened? Uh, I got kicked off. Early. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're back. How, how were you were you gone for a while? And were you gone for like two minutes or were you gone for like 10 minutes? Wait, we got kicked out. <laughs> you didn't even notice. Okay, it must have been, no, must not have been that long. I mean, the background. What are you gonna put in the background? Huh? What are you gonna put in the background? I think we should put a background in. I have to turn. I have to turn this smudge into something. What do the gorillas like to eat? Turn it into another gorilla. Yeah, go for it. Um, another. I got to run downstairs for one second. Take another two minutes. Um, put in a background or whatever. Um, add some shadows if you want. Um, oh wait, you guys want to do the face? Yeah. Okay, let me zoom out. I also have a quick question when you can. Look at that. When you get to it. Yeah, I'm ready. What's up? Oh, would you be kind enough to um, add a banana somewhere? I can do a banana. Um, okay, so. Um, if anybody wants to play along, you can. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna open the I'm gonna open this gorilla's mouth. So now just bear with me. Um, I'm not monkeying around here. Uh, 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 um, okay, so, oh, so in order to open the mouth, you got to show the upper lips, and then you have to show the lower lips. So this is the uh, the gorilla's mouth opening wide. Now the gorilla is like screaming at the top of his lungs. So the corner of his mouth is a weird shape. So I'm looking at this like big C shape. See how there's this huge C shape? So I, I opened the top lip and I opened the bottom lip and now we gotta get the C shape for the side. And then once you get that C shape, then you can add like the sharp teeth, which I don't think monkeys have. You can add the tongue. Um, you know, you can you can add all kinds of stuff. And the wider you make the mouth, the more stuff you can do. So here's the C. So I open the mouth, upper lip, lower lip, and then here's the C shape all on the side. So I'm like opening up his mouth wide. So you get the C shape here, and then you get the C shape on the other side. So he's like, oh, don't steal my bananas. Um, and Stacy had a request for some bananas. So I'll, I did. Thank you. I will attempt to accommodate her with some slightly rotting bananas. I appreciate that so much. You're welcome. I appreciate the suggestion. It's a big bunch of bananas. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Okay, the bananas work. Uh, I guess I'll do the fangs, I don't know. So there's like these triangle fangs over here, triangle fangs on the bottom. There's this <laughs> tongue, you know, you can see the tongue, it's not fully back there. And then you can see the thickness of the lip. Now, in order for all this to stand out, you have to be looking into the cave that is like the cave that is down his throat. So the teeth are white, so they should stand out. The tongue, you know, is red or whatever, and that should stand out. Um, but what you're what you're not going to see um, is, you know, what's down his hatch. So that's what makes it's the shading 
um, of the back of the throat and the inside of the mouth. That's what makes it believable because the mouth is open. So you're looking down into a cavern. And I can do this like the marks that says he's yelling. So we combined the two. Um, also, I did this in the other class. Um, if you want to, I mean, he, this artist just got away with just doing two little dots. If you want to like actually draw eyes, you know, monkey's eyes are really similar to human's eyes. So you can like, you know, put in pupils and irises and upper eyelids and stuff. Um, this guy up here has this epic angle. Like if you ever want to make something look angry, put that, put the angle, the brows, like with this aggressive V shape. And then they get, you know, see that little, that, that angle of the upper eyelids, you put that V shape of the, the brows, like facing, flexing down. Yes. Um, they just, it turns from like, you know, yelling to like help to like yelling, like get out of here. <laughs> you know, there's just a whole different uh, attitude. Oh, hello squirrel. <gasps> Those bananas. You like the bananas? So cute. Yes. Mm-hmm. Who's, yeah, so who's, who's the little squirrel? Is it Anjali? <laughs> it was Anjali. That was, I don't even know how to do that stuff. Um, okay, so if you guys want this, you have to take a screenshot because I gotta, I gotta, I wanna see what y'all did. Here's the... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop the share in five, four, three, two, one. Stop the share. Um, all right, who wants to go first? Anybody wanna show first? Toby, you wanna go? Still working? I'm not finished, but I can show. Okay, I'll pin you. Pin, pin, pin. Oh, the oh. balloons. <laughs> can you hold that down just a little bit? Whoa, and the balloons. Oh, those are trees, though. Those are trees. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Love it. Either way. Yeah, either way. Uh, if you if you uh if you shade in the trunks of the tree, I think it'll be more obvious. But I know you're not, I know you're not done yet. Um, Anjali, can we see yours? How'd you do on the gorilla? Oh man, that guy's awesome. Nicely oh. done. I and I never thought about that, but you could put um Putting it in the rectangle makes it so much, makes it so nice. Um, but I'm imagining like he's like a circus performer or, or like he's at the zoo and you could put like bars on there maybe. I don't know. That might be sad as well. Um, um, Anjali, can you hold that in the really, really still and freeze? Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, these are very, these, um, this style of drawing is actually very helpful. Um, all right, Kieran, Rohan, let's see what you got, bud buds all i see is you guys in outer space background have you guys taken over europe are you in are you in a spacex airplane oh no you're in your kitchen okay good very nice very nice can you get a little closer so you can see them oh yeah nice mouth oh my goodness well done sir all right, let's see the next one. Who's up? <laughs> yeah, dude. And hold that with both hands for me so it's nice and flat. I love that will. environment. Thank you. Cool. You might need two eyes in there. I can't, I, you might be too far away, but I would look, see if you can place two eyes in that gorilla. All right. Uh, uh, I missed it was too it was too small to see. Have your parents email it to me. Um, all right, William and Lillian. William, you go first this time. Yes. <laughs> oh, you oh, turned yeah. that into a foot. Oh, that is a foot. I never saw that, dude. It's totally a foot. Um, okay, thank you so much. And I love your little belly button there. Cool. Um, all right, Lillian, let's see it. I'm getting a phone call. Nah. 
I don't oh, think I, can I got it. the wrong but no no can you hold that up uh, a little further to you just a yeah, tiny bit. I don't know That's that lo that looks like the right banana to me oh that is the correct banana yeah um that looks awesome dude well done I like the high intensity color all right Dominic did you do this one or were you just living in a world of uh Pikachu's how is art? Sorry, I gotta, sorry, I gotta turn off the filter. <laughs> the land of Pikachu unicorns. Oh yeah. Yeah, you nailed you, you nailed it, dude. That hand, the arm and the hand is very, very well done. Yeah. Um, nice. Excellent. Yeah. Um, uh, William really pointed it out. Uh, there's this little, um, there's this one bottom line that comes out of the hand that I think is supposed to be the bottom of the foot. Let me put the screen share back up just so you guys can see it. Um, Cause I didn't see it the first time. You see this little thing right here? I think this is like the big toe to like his foot. And then he might have, an, he might have another foot coming out of the bottom over here anyway it's just a cartoon <clears throat> but I, I that was a great find um i love your drawing dude very very mature um all right sweet i will stop the share and i'll see you guys next week bye bye y'all hey everybody. everybody have a great week thank you you're bye. welcome see ya